Hey gals and guys, it's Chris Mojo from MyMediaHelper.com, and this time what we're doing is we're going to um, we're going to build a couple SharePoint calendars. We're going to do a uh, old-fashioned uh, classic calendar, and then we're going to do a calendar based on a list, and then I'm going to jump on my sandbox, uh, my site, and um, just link up uh, Outlook Calendar to to SharePoint. So three different options for you as far as calendars are concerned. So let's start with Classic, shall we? So this is a brand new site. Uh, this is a conference room for a particular place that I work and um, the location where I work for. These are old calendars um, that need to be recreated. So actually, I just want an old notepad that I'm going to bring up. And I'm just going to grab. Um, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Let's just do auditorium to start with. I'm just going to paste this over here. Okay, so I just created a brand new group site, and what I'm going to do is go into uh, contents. All right, and then I'm going to go to uh, return to classic SharePoint right here. Uh, you can do that in the group site. If you have a communication site, you can just go up and and um, go new in apps. So I, I can show you both ways, actually. So let's go to classic. All right, and you see here, you don't see um, calendars here per se. So you actually just put in the CAL and do a search. And it should come up with, all right, making a liar out of me. Let's go back. And we don't need a new subsite. Okay, let's add an app. My bad. I haven't done this in a while. Okay, and we want to find an app, and they just load it in. So perfecto. There's a calendar right there. Pretty simple, right? So you just click in here, and then we're just going to put, I'm just going to cut and copy and paste over here, and we're just going to create auditorium for this particular site. Okay, so there it is right there, and I'm just going to go back to contents. And once that loads up, oh, actually, before you do that, exit classic experience. All right. And then there's the auditorium. Like again, I haven't done this in, in uh, a spell. So I'm not going to do layers or anything. I can do that on a separate video because uh, I don't want to make this too incredibly long. So we're just going to stick with one particular calendar. Um, I can do layers on here if I wanted to. Uh, just to have a, like a list of different um, calendars. But at this point, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do a test post here. So today's the 7th. So let's do, let's do for the 10th, June 7th. We'll do for June 10th. So if you just click in this area right down here, you can see add. Oops. And I did not want to do that. Oh, great googly muggly. So we'll go here, click in here, and then we want to add. Okay, we're just going to put test for now. Location, I'll just put test. You don't necessarily, obviously, the um, ones with the stars you need to put in. So let's just do six. You can scroll, we'll do like 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And description, you don't necessarily have to put one in. This is a test calendar date. All right, and you can have different categories. Uh, we'll do meeting, or you can do your own category. Obviously, um, you don't necessarily have to put in the time. You can make this an all-day event by just clicking this, and you can make it a repeating event by clicking this. Um, so it would do it like every th every Thursday if you want to do like a first Thursday of the month kind of deal or something like that. But we'll stick with this for now. We're just going to save. All right. And there we go. There's our there's our test right there. So let, let's go back to content because we want to go back to the main page. I just want to go home. And then what I'm going to do is add. So I'm going to edit. And then what I'm going to do is add a section. So you just hit the plus here. I'm just going to add one column. Okay, I'm going to hit this. I have to remember how to do this. Uh, we'll put in events. All right, so we'll put events in here. And you can just put in, um, I'll just put in auditorium calendar. All 
Okay. And you can put down the front page, and then here's your choices here. If um, you want to find a calendar elsewhere, uh, if you have like a site group uh, collection, which I do, I can grab a calendar from someplace else and put it here. But I'm just going to, for simplistic sake, I'm just going to put it there. And all right, I'm just looking through here. So we can just do meetings. So I put a category of meetings there. So I just want to do uh, meeting categories for that particular uh, section, that web part. And if I want just this week, pretty self-explanatory, all this stuff, right? So we can compact it. Uh, you can put as many few or as many events as you want on there. Audience targeting, show event images. Sure, don't have any images for this event, but I can certainly do that. So we'll just republish. out of here and then when it wants to oh, okay let's republish this so there's your group um, page with um, one of your calendars and one of your events and as you add the events obviously they'll just populate here as many as you put in uh, as many as you, you tell the the SharePoint page to put in so at this point it's 20 all right, so that's just a classic SharePoint calendar, and we will move on to lists. Okay, this time out we're gonna do a calendar based on a list. So we're back at our um, our group page, and we're going to put in, um, gonna go to site contents. We wanna create a new list. So let's go here and let's go new, and let's create a list. So I'm gonna do a blank list, and I'm gonna call it, um, this one I'm just going to delete. I'm just going to call it testing. And the description is, I don't know, just put testing. It's not a big deal. You can show in the navigation or you don't have to. Um, don't necessarily need it in the navigation, but if you do, it's going to show up over here. So let's create. OK, so it brings us directly to our list here. Let me just show you real quick. If you go back to contents. There's your list right there. Okay, so you can pretty much put what you want in here. Um, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna change this to, I'm gonna rename this just to, to name. We'll name what the event is. All right, and then we can add to a column. Um, I'm just gonna put a simple one line in here. I'm gonna put description. Okay, and there's no default value. Here's other options, characters, require this column contains information. No, it doesn't necessarily need information. Uh, let's go yes, just to show you. Um, enforce unique values, no. So let's save this. Okay, and then we can shrink it up a little bit if you want. All right, let's put in type. Let's put in, um, so you've got to have a date, obviously, right? It's a calendar, so you've got to have date and time. So let's put date and time in here. And I'm just going to put it in type. And select, I'm going to have it select the date and time. Use calculated value. Um, Now I'm not going to put in today. I'm going to just put none on this. Include time. Yes, include time. Friendly format. Sure, I'm not sure what that is exactly 100% to tell you the truth. And you can change what this column is if you want right there, but we're going to keep um, date and time. Okay. Column with this name already exists. Okay, so we'll just put in um, date and time. And yeah, we'll save it. Okay, and there's our date and time column. And I think that's really all we need at this point. I mean, you can keep going. You can go crazy if you want um, as far as that's concerned, but this is like a simplistic um, tutorial, so I'm not going to get too crazy. So let's add a event here. All right, so let's call it um, testing2. Okay, um, all are welcome. I don't know, put in whatever the hell you want to put in, right? 
Uh, let's do this for So it's not showing. Oh, okay, I was wondering why it wasn't showing. Let's do this for the 13th. All right, and we will do it for uh, certainly not 12 a.m. Let's do uh, let's do 11. Okay, you can add an attachment if you want for whatever reason. All right, let's save. All right, so here is um, there is your list items. So we want to um, create a new view. So we're going to create a new view over here. OK, let's create a new view. And we'll call it calendar. Calendar on here. Start date. Uh, view name, I'm just going to call it calendar. Make this public. That's fine. I'm going to delete it after this anyways. Title items of calendar. So I'm going to put it under title, right? We changed title to name. So let's create view. OK, and there we go. There's our calendar. All right, we can also put this on the front page. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go to home page. And we're going to edit again. And let's do a new section here. Boom. We want to do a list. We put our list in. Just got to find it. Do, 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 do. Where the heck is it? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay, do our list here. And we're gonna go to our pencil and our list is testing. Um okay, I want it, I want the view as calendar. Um folder's not important. It's not important now, so I'm gonna put apply. And there is our calendar right there. All right, with our date. So we will republish. Republish, republish. OK, so there's our first calendar that we created. That's our classic one. And here is the um, the list. So the last one we're going to do is to link to an Outlook calendar. OK, and the last thing I really want to show real quickly is just how to um, incorporate an Outlook calendar into a classic SharePoint calendar. So these here's all calendars that I built yesterday. We'll go back to the classic experience. Oops, I was just in the classic experience. All right. And I'm just going to do add an app. I'm just going to do calendar. I'm just going to put test on this particular one. Just like I did the list. I'm going to create. And this is pretty simple. Let's go to test. Let's get in there. All right, you want to go to calendar, go to calendar, synchronize items and make them available offline using Microsoft Outlook. OK. <coughs> OK, so here's your. <coughs> OK, so here's your your test calendar right here. So if we go back. And we just, uh, we'll just put something in for um, tomorrow, which is the June 9th. And I'm just going to put testing June 9th, 6 a.m. to 7 is fine. Meeting's fine. Save's fine. So there we go there. And then if you go over to your Outlook, um, it should pop up. Maybe you have to sync again. That's probably what you have to do. So connect with an Outlook. All right, it should be 7 to 9. So I'm not sure why it's not refreshing. Oh, here it is right here. OK. 
So that's if you want to sync your, <coughs> excuse me, your SharePoint calendar with your Outlook. Okay, just quick and simple on that. So uh, this is just the basic three three ways to get uh, your calendar working uh, out of SharePoint. Um, your classic view, your list, and then linking your Outlook to your to your SharePoint calendar. And uh, I'm going to do another video. I'm going to elaborate a little more on all this stuff. There's some other bells and whistles that you can do with calendars, and I will make a separate video for that. So I hope this was helpful. And if it was, uh, certainly please subscribe to the channel. Uh, please share if you feel that someone needs this tutorial. And um, thumbs up if you liked it, and hit the bell for updates and all that good stuff, gals and girls. Gals and girls gals and guys and beyond that uh, we're all done with this video so i bid you a farewell